For many Palestinians, he'd become a symbol of resistance. Kader Adnan had been in prison several times over the past decade, but on Tuesday he died at the age of 45 after a hunger strike lasting more than 80 days. Israel had accused Adnan of being part of the Palestinian militant group Islamic Jihad, considered a terrorist organization by Israel, the US and the EU. In 2015, he called his treatment inhumane. I was placed in administrative detention for six months. That was prolonged by an additional four months on two occasions. My mother felt sick. I asked to speak to her by phone, but they refused. The Israeli occupation has no mercy and doesn't want me to live. Kadia Adnan had started a new hunger strike back in February, just after being imprisoned again. A month ago, he wrote in a letter that he was starting to lose his strength. According to his wife, he refused medical help. His supporters denounced the conditions in which he was detained. And Islamic Jihad has already promised reprisals. What happened with Sheikh Kader Adnan is a crime in itself. And the Israeli occupiers are those responsible for it. They're all complicit in this crime. The occupiers will have a heavy price to pay. It will not go unanswered. Hamas and Islamic Jihad militants fired several rockets from the Gaza trip into southern Israel a few hours after his death. The Israeli military said it had responded with tank fire sparking yet another volley of rockets from inside the Gaza Strip.